love it here. In the United States, it's like there's sort of this little world by itself, and here I feel like I'm at the crossroads of the old and the new world, and it's just fascinating, and people are kind and warm and welcoming. It's just a really fantastic place. What I really like is that there's, in fact, a, a summit focused on HR, but I love that it's been so interactive. I also love that there have been a variety of um, practitioners from all over the world, um, that it's a variety of men and of women, of, of English speaking, of Turkish speaking, and so I feel like there's a wonderful diversity and array of people and participants that, that you don't usually get. Uh, companies don't disrupt, people do, and here's how in seven steps. So that's really my premise, is that the fundamental unit of disruption is the individual, and that the best way for a company to drive engagement, to drive retention, to drive innovation is through personal disruption and empowering the people to disrupt themselves. It's obviously very scary, but you know, there's a lot of brave people on this planet, and I think that once we realize that it is scary, but that not realize that it's scary, but understand, yes, of course it's going to be scary, but the only way that we can move from stuck to unstuck is to disrupt ourselves and then in fact when we do try something new we feel this squirt of dopamine and it feels good and it makes us happy. The whole point is is that when you try something new you're happier and so when people can understand that they can get over the fear.